Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Buppet. Welcome back to another Daily Masters play. And down the bottom right side of the map, we do have a blue Terran player, MMA. And up the top left side of the map, we do have a red Zerg player, Scarlet. And in case you haven't guessed, this is from the WCS um, season final series because uh, there's only two Zerg players in there. There's Scarlet and then there's Jadong. And yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you see a game with a Zerg player in it, and it's either Jadong or Scarlet, it's a very, very good guess that it is from the WCS Season 2 Finals. And, yeah, so, no ZVZ in that tournament at all, which is which is kind of unfortunate, because ZVZ, always extremely epic, extremely um, close sort of matches, but given I'm, a, given I'm a Protoss player, I definitely say I gotta love the amount of Protoss in this tournament. And, yeah, some really, really new, good new Protoss players I haven't really seen, and some really, really good old Protoss players that I love casting. So, always good from, uh, from both sides of the coin. And, yeah, moving on, we're going to be seeing exactly how these players do in this game. Hasn't really been much going on, uh, to tell you the truth, about that I can really talk about that doesn't really involve these games. Just keeping on with the casting, I've done the first two quarterfinals of the WCS uh, Season 2 Finals. I'm going to cast the next two this weekend. And yeah, semi-finals, then finals. After that, there is um, Dreamhack um, Bucharest, I believe is the name. I do not know off the top of my head how to pronounce that correctly. I'll actually, um, I'll actually look it up now because um, no doubt... I'm going to have to say that a lot, so yeah, B-U-C-H-A-R-E-S-T, I should probably look up the correct pronunciation of that, because otherwise I'm going to make an absolute fool of myself, but Dreamhack is one of my favourite tournaments, and yeah, it's going to be awesome casting that. Oh, they got another round of 16, I don't know if I'm going to cast the round of 16 this time, because yeah, as I said a couple of videos ago, I'm basically only going to be uploading, since I started Daily Masters, I can only really do one tournament game a day, so round of 16 would take freaking forever. So I might just do the, uh, might just do the quarterfinals, then the semis, then the finals. Man, there's a, uh, <laughs> there's uh, not actually that many Zerg in that tournament as well. There's, well, I, I don't want to spoil it, but basically, yeah, they, uh, there were quite a few in the round of 16, and yes, something happened to a lot of them. I, I won't. I won't say any more than that. Just in case I do decide to go for the uh, for the round of 16. I don't know. Maybe my internet will just uh, suddenly everything will go a hundred times faster, and I can actually upload all those videos. But it's probably not going to be able to. So anyway, we're not going to talk about that. Our main task is going to be how to pronounce Bucharest. Bu I feel like Bucharest is just the. Uh, the non-European American slash Australian way of pronouncing uh, the city, Bucharest. It just sounds so dodgy, so I'm guessing the correct way is going to be Bucharest. But yeah, let's let's give it a bit of a Google. Not really much going on in the game at the moment, so I don't have to be too worried about actually casting. I mean, we're going to be having some uh, fast Hellions coming out at the moment off this reactor. I feel like that's probably the plan, and a nice fast expansion as well. And Scarlet, I mean, she's uh, mainly just macroing up at the moment. She, I do not know, and we do not have speed out yet. We don't have a roach run out yet, we don't have a bailing nest. Yes, yeah, just macro up, just macro, macro, macro. Would not be surprised at all to see a third base coming out very, very soon. So, yeah, there we go. Let's have a look. Uh, rest. This is going to be one of the first times I actually look at the pronunciation thing in me, Bobs. Um, hopefully it has one. Where is, uh, where is the pronunciation? Maybe, maybe they just assume that people should know how to pronounce it. Well, they, they obviously didn't have, uh, didn't have people like me in mind when they wrote that. But we'll, we will wait for the article to load up and then we will see if it has a pronunciation guide in there. 
So there we go. Actually, uh, looks like MMA going for his third command center already. I don't know how well that's going to do. Actually, just running straight through these queens, taking a bit of damage, but overall surviving. And this is going to be quite bad. No blue flame, but well, they can still definitely take out a bunch of workers and the workers turning on the Hellions there, doing a pretty good job and probably lost about four or five workers there. But Scarlet's still in the lead with over six. And... Apparently you pronounce it Bucharest. Bucharest, I think that's, uh, I think that's right. So, Bucharest, Bucharest. It's definitely not Bucharest. Bucharest is definitely bad, so Bucharest. That actually sounds right. I've never been there before, I've never heard of it before, but it's, uh, it sounds a lot better than Bucharest. So Bucharest, yeah. Or maybe it just sounds the same. I do not know, but we do have hell, double Hellbat drops coming along. And yeah, Scarlet is going to see that. And the Medivax feels like they're taking forever to get over there. But they're going to speed away now, drop straight into the main. And with just Lings and the Queens to defend this, no, not going to be good, although getting a very, very nice surround very early on. The Ling's in a great position, and all the Hellbats going down almost instantly. One of them's going to be surviving, but yeah, this Medivac barely survived as well, so might be able to scoop that in in another minute or so, but yeah, I don't know. Scarlet also feeling like she should probably get the creep all the way down this uh, neck of the woods and I would say that's probably a good idea but she really she really needs to decide on what sort of tech route she's going to be going uh, we do not have a roach run here but it does look like we're going to be seeing a spire and with these attacks it does look like Mutaling is going to be the way to go we do not have bailing speed but I'm sure there we go there's bailing speed so going to be going for some Mutaling and I, I haven't cast that many games of Scarlet, but I'm getting the impression that she likes Mutaling a lot more than the average Zerg. A lot of Zerg these days are all Roach Hydra for the win, you know, it's that sort of stuff. Well, maybe that's just uh, ZVZ, because I see so many Zerg players play ZVZ, but Scarlet, she definitely seems to like the uh, Mutaling. I'm not saying she, she can't play anything else, but she definitely seems to be very good with it. And... Yeah, so we're going to be seeing all that sort of stuff. All the upgrades coming along. Zerg um, Overlord Speed actually coming out as well, so that's pretty sweet. And yeah, the third base coming out, the fourth base going down as well. So Scarlet switching into full-on macro mode. And MMA not slashing off at all. He has definitely got the amount of workers up that he needs to. And he's getting more workers as time goes on. He's going to be doing a pretty good job. And we will have to see how he's doing. He's getting some tanks, he's getting some marines. So, so far he's, uh, he's doing a pretty good job at getting what he needs to. Because of course, marine tank is, is the best all around counter. At least as far as I can tell, to the Muta League. I have seen some players go for a Widow Mine Marine instead of a Tank Marine. And it does work. It does actually work versus Muta League. The Widow Mines just do so much damage, and they're a little bit less mobile than the tanks there. They're, they're alright, they're actually they're sort of a mini tank if you think about it. Sort of, maybe. Except they burrowed and their range is a lot shitter. And their firing speed is a lot shitter as well, but... Yeah, overall, overall they're still pretty good. Uh, we do have uh, the Widow Mine Burrow Speed coming out as well. So MMA preparing for all eventualities. And how many muters do we have on the field? Ten so far. So that's a very, very nice start. And how are we looking for missile turrets? Bad. We are looking horrible for missile turrets so far. There are no missile turrets anywhere. Here's one coming up. Where's he building that one? Over there. He's going to need a few more missile turrets than that. But he sees the muters coming in. And there we go. Missile turrets are going to be going down all over the place now. I can only assume... If he, he definitely wants to get the missile turrets down. And Scarlet definitely wants to get that creep going because uh, her creep got knocked back quite a bit. Very, very bad. She's got to get that rocket again because Bailing's fighting against Marines off creep. Bailing's cannot catch them. There's just no hope. Alright, they can catch them, 
But not if the Marines stim. If the Marines stim, then they can just run and stim. They just stim, run, stim, run, stim, run. The Bailings have no hope. So Scarlet's got to get that creep out there. And yeah, we, we will be seeing how that goes. Definitely on the creep, she should have the Bailing numbers. And look at these guys going in the side, and MMA is going to start ruining the day he did not build missile turrets at his expansion. Look how many workers are going down. That is absolutely obscene. And the Marines going into the main base where the missile turret is only just starting to be produced. What a mistake. What a fantastic mistake that MMA has made right here. And let's have a look at that worker count. Man, oh man, oh man. He lost so many workers there. i got to say it lost at least 20. This one missile turret is going to go down. And actually not pushing that too hard. And she sort of felt like, yeah, play it safe. Just sort of get him out of there. Don't want to lose any at all. And, yeah, so far, MMA is actually going to be in a lot of trouble right now. And Scarlet is going to be able to start really heavily trading off here. Um, trying not to lose a lot of the muters, but she can start trading off the Lings and the Banelings left, right, and center. Look at these drops. Actually, this drop didn't do too well. Might have got a few workers. Not really, though. I mean, he's still, he's still about 30 behind, and that is way more behind than he really wants to be. So not going to be good at all. And Scarlet just has to keep the pressure on right now. She has to keep doing nice, efficient trades all over the place. Getting the Lings in there. Doing the good attacks. And this is not good. Oh, just three Lings getting taken out by that. So that's fine. And the Widow Mine's all going to get taken out here. Trying not to make sure that the Bailing don't go down onto the Widow Mines. But the Overseers doing a great job. And just swarming in here. Just a complete Zerg Swarm. And the Bailings... Pushing in the Marines, running for their life. Absolutely running for their life. And they will take out a lot of the Banelings, but the Muters, pretty much free to go and just do whatever the hell they want in there. Still Marines chasing them after all the Banelings have gone down, but a whole bunch of workers are going to get taken away before these guys have to run. And every single unit, I feel like, doing a great job here. Nice drop over there. Scarlet not quite uh, getting uh, on top of this one quite yet, but... That is going to be taken out extremely fast, and there's no more lifting up in Medivax and flying away because, of course, the muters all over the place are going to be shutting that down very quickly. And MMA, over that attack, has actually been doing quite a lot of good stuff. I think a couple of Marines over here, and these guys here taking out quite a few workers, so he took out at least 10 there, evening it up quite nicely, and the army sizes have sort of been evened up. I feel like MMA has a bigger army, actually, because he's about even, but he's still 20 workers behind. So, look at all these changelings, man. You might as well spend the energy on something. And look at this base going down. He's really put a lot of effort into defending his base, and that's, uh, that's actually okay, because he's not going for a fifth as well. So, it's all down to this base. And there we go. The massive amount of bailings just going in everywhere, trying to stim, but these Marines have nowhere to go. And the rest of them going right in there, and Widow Mines hitting the Banelings, causing them to explode. And that was just really freaking awesome, man. I mean, the Widow Mines hit the Banelings, and the Banelings all set off a chain reaction and killed the Marines. So that, um, that Widow Mine has a lot to explain, I feel like. So we're just going to watch this again in uh, slow motion, actually. I feel like slow motion is the way to go. So here we go. Where is the Widow Mine? that sets these guys off. There we go, it looks like three or four Widow Mines, and oh, I feel like they actually, Splash Damage just took those guys out of it as well, so uh, MMA just saw all of his guys die in just like one second, and he's like, you know what, screw this, I'm out of here. So congratulations to Scarlet for uh, that beautiful victory there, right there, I mean Triple M, uh, sorry not Triple M, Mutaling, did a very, very good job, and I mean, her Banelings tried to do work. They didn't really get it done, but they tried. And definitely they allowed the Mutas to push forward a lot more than they normally would have been able to. And yeah, I think that uh, that definitely helped quite a bit because Marines on the run cannot be shredding Mutalisks. And Mutalisks, if you've got a large enough pack, which uh, Scarlet definitely did, um, can do quite a lot of damage when they're focusing on stuff. So, yeah, look at that base, man. It's just absolutely exploded. So, yeah, congratulations 
to Scarlet for that beautiful win. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for another Daily Masters. Stay tuned for that. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game.